Hey, what's up everyone? It's David back with another quick tutorial on Cubase. I'm going to show you two settings that I use all the time. I've assigned hotkeys to them and I'll show you how they function within my template. They're the enable disable track function and the hide track function. So let's get into it. So I'm just going to open up a track real quick. And this is my one of my templates, a big one. And it loads very quickly because all of the tracks within it are disabled. And it's a great alternative to loading a bunch of sample libraries. As you can see, Cubase is only using about one and a half gigs of memory, which is not much for this system. So there's not a lot of overhead with this method. So here's the template, it's open. There's nothing recorded in it, but it opens to a piano. And uh, you don't see anything because everything is hidden. And I like it that way because this template allows me to choose what I want to do. So a great uh, way to demonstrate this is to go to my band. This is for band type music and my band instruments and I'll enable that visibility and we'll come down and I have my drums, guitars, bass, keys, horns, and strings. Now I don't have the drums hidden because typically I will sequence drums over a riff. I'll record a riff first or record a piano line first and then the drums I'll try have to decide what I want. Now all these tracks are disabled but if you go to file key commands and you search for enable disable Enable disabled tracks, there it is. And that's another tip. If you uh, search for something and you don't find exactly what you're looking for, you keep hitting the plus button and you'll cycle through every instance of that particular search query. So I've mapped enable disable to alt D. So let's say I wanted to use the 50s kit spring. I just hit alt D and then it loads that sample library into RAM so that it, it can work quickly. And, but it's better than loading up all of these drum sets. So then I can play the 50s kit. Uh, And if I don't want the 50s kit, I can disable it with Alt D and try the 80s kit. And if I don't want that, I can disable it. Uh, so once I choose one, let's say I choose uh, this garage kit, I can take all the other kits and I hide them with Alt Q, which is a key command I've assigned. Uh, once again, you can go to key command preferences and do hide track. That should work. Hide selected channels tracks, Alt Q. Well, that's just a key command I assigned. But so if I'm working in something and I know I'm going to use a particular sample drum set, at least while I'm uh, demoing it out, you know, I'll hide all the others with Alt Q. But if I want to bring them back, I can just select them all and hit that and then I'll have all my choices again. And if I want to disable one that's been used, I hit Alt D and let's try the 70s tight kit. So this has just been a quick tutorial on enabling and disabling tracks so that you're not loading everything into RAM. Uh, you're just enabling things as you need them to save on overhead. And then you can load up all the stuff in your template, but if you're not using it, uh, just hiding it real quick with a key command that you can assign custom in the Cubase key commands. So my personal key commands are Alt D for enable disable, Alt D, Alt D, and Alt Q for hide and then to unhide them I just select them and click the checkbox and they come back. So I hope you found this useful. If you have feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves everyone. Peace.